Hi friends, let's discuss thyroid cancer in short. Because thyroid cancer is considered to be the most rapidly diagnosed cancers in male as well as females and it is also the most common endocrine malignancy and one of the types of the thyroid cancer papillary thyroid cancer is now fourth, fifth most common cancer in the females. Being very common, it is also considered to be one of the cancers with good prognosis. That is the chances of the patient being alive after the diagnosis of the cancer after even after 10 years is quite high in this patient. Coming to the classification, it can arise from the follicular cell and most of the time it is differentiated type of the, of the thyroid cancer up to 90 to 95 percent of the times and there are two types papillary cancer and the follicular cancer and most of the time we will come across the papillary cancer. So the most common type of the thyroid cancer is basically differentiated type of the thyroid cancer arising from the follicular cells and in the differentiated type papillary cancer is the most common. In there is another type of thyroid cancer which is arising from the parafollicular cells that is the C cells which is responsible for release of the calcitonin and that is the medullary type medullary thyroid cancer which is considered to be found in up to 5 to 6 percent of the patients. There is a rare type of thyroid cancer which is undifferentiated that is the anaplastic cancer and it carries a very very bad prognosis with most of the patients dying within within six months to one year. There are some rare types of the thyroid cancer like lymphomas, uh, squamous cell carcinoma or even metastasis from the other cancers uh, like kidney or breast which comes to the thyroid gland. Differential type of the thyroid cancer has got some unique features. The unique features are up to 75% of the cases are seen in females. Mortality is associated with sex. Mortality is very less in female as compared to males. Mortality is also related to age. Those patients who are having the cancer before the age of 45 years or 40 years are having very good prognosis as compared when the patient's age is higher. That is staging of the disease is related to the age of the patient. Usually uh, we, uh, we do the TNM staging and we find there are uh, stage 1, 2, 3, 4. But here the staging is dependent on the age. So if the patient is having age less than 45 years of age, so if the patient is having any T, any T1 to T4, any N, N1, N2, 3, or M0, it is a stage 1. While if the patient is having any T, any type of lymph node involvement, but it is M1, it is usually a stage 2. In other types of the cancer, usually the patient having metastasis is considered a stage 4 disease. But here, in, th in differential type of the thyroid cancer, if the patient's age is less than 45 years of age, even the metastasis, single metastasis is, uh, is considered a stage 2 disease. While the same staging changes once the patient has uh, crossed the age of the 45. And one more thing that even if the patient is having single metastasis in different uh, like suppose lungs is still the prognosis is better as compared to the other types of the cancer. So it is considered a good prognosis uh, cancer. AMES and AGES risk classification. Now the A stands for the age, M stands for the metastasis, E stands for the extent of the disease, uh, S stands for the size and the sex of the, of the patient. While in the AGES, this M is replaced by the G, that is G is the grade. Grade means whether it is a low grade or the high grade of, on the depending on the histopathology. So we can classify low risk as age patients less than 40 years, sex female, metastasis none obviously, extent no local or capsule invasion, size less than 2 cm is a low risk factor. While high risk age uh, groups are age more than 40, sex male, metastasis and size more than 4 cm. These are the considered the high risk classification. So now coming to the two most common differential thyroid cancer that is the papillary and the follicular. We will come across most of the time it will be papillary. So let's uh, discuss the difference between papillary and the follicular. Most common is papillary up to 80% while follicular you will come across in the 10%. Female is to male ratio in papillary it is 2 is to 1 while in follicular it is more it is 3 is to 1 side so more common in females. Papillary is considered in younger females like age is 30 to 40 while that is follicular is seen in the higher age group like 40 to 60. Papillary is very strongly associated with radiation the history of uh, past exposure of radiation while follicular is usually seen in the areas of the iodine iodine deficient areas. So the typical presentation of follicular cancer is a patient who is, is living in an iodine deficient area who is having a long standing goiter malignancy found in a long standing goiter it is most likely a follicular cancer while the papillary is typically associated with history of radiation in younger age group. Papillary can be diagnosed with the help of FNAC, fine needle aspiration cytology, while follicular cancer cannot be diagnosed with the help of FNAC because to make a diagnosis of follicular car carcinoma, we need to have the tissue diagnosis. That is why if somebody is having on FNAC, 
uh, follicular adenoma, usually the lobectomy is done. One of the lobes is being removed. Then on the final biopsy, we come to know whether it is a follicular adenoma or follicular cancer. In papillary thyroid cancer, we can find papillary projections. We can find some of our bodies or find any nuclei or nuclear inclusion bodies as well as nuclear growing. These are the characteristic feature of the papillary thyroid cancer. Papillary thyroid cancer usually goes into the neck lymph node while the follicular cancer goes to the uh, distant body metastasis like the bony metastasis are very characteristic of follicular cancer. Papillary cancer is considered to be having excellent prognosis while the follicular cancer is not having that much favorable. It's still the prognosis is good but not as good as papillary thyroid cancer. Now coming to the management. The management can be uh, is surgical and but in the surgical we have different types of the surgery that is hemithyroidectomy that is removal of the one lobe half of the thyroid gland or we can go for lobectomy or we can go for total thyroidectomy. So what should we go for depends on the risk factors. If the patient is having low risk features one can go for simple lobectomy or hemithyroidectomy. But if the patient is having high risk uh, groups the patient is having most likely having an advanced disease the patient is most likely going to be planned for radioactive iodine therapy in the future. In those patients, one should go for total thyroidectomy. Like if the patient is having tumor more than 4 cm of size, if the patient is having multifocal or bilateral tumor, if the patient is having extra thyroidal extension, if the patient's age is more than 45 years, if the patient has a history of radiation, uh, radiation in the past, in all these groups are considered to be high risk behaviors. In, those, in these patients, one should go for total thyroidectomy. The advantage of total thyroidectomy is that if we go for total thyroidectomy, we can later on plan for radioactive iodine therapy. While the disadvantage of total thyroidectomy is there is a risk of bilateral recurrent laryngeal nerve injury and there is also a risk of uh, removal of the pyroid thyroid gland. So basically our surgery uh, is basically planned as per the risk factors and as per the, uh, and as per the need of the radioactive iodine therapy in the future. This is thyroid cancer. Thank you.